After the Stark hegemony in the north was broken following the Red Wedding in 300 AC, where King Rob Stark and all of his most loyal bannermen were murdered by the Boltons and the Freys at the behest of the Lannisters. The Boltons were rewarded by being appointed as the Warden of the North, but unfortunately for Roose Bolton, his son Ramsay betrayed and stabbed him, taking his place as Lord of House Bolton, and through Lord Small John Umber, of the House Umber, manages to get his hands on Rick and Stark, whom he will use as bait to attract Jon Snow and his forces and end the threat they represent to his position in the North, and also recover his wife, Sansa Stark. On the day before the battle, the Stark leadership agrees to parley with the Boltons. Ramsay immediately offers terms for Jon's surrender, claiming that his men will not be harmed, he will be pardoned for deserting his post as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, if Sansa is given to him and Jon bends the knee and acknowledges him as the Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. Jon rejects this, knowing that Ramsay has broken his own surrender terms multiple times in the past, and instead opts for a different solution to save both armies. A single combat to determine the fate of the North. Ramsay rejects Jon in turn, as he has heard of Jon's reputation as the best swordsman in the North, and he knows his army is more numerous and better equipped than Jon's. Jon retorts by pointing out that Ramsay's army is built on shaky loyalty, whereas his own know that their leader would live and die for them. This angers Ramsay, and prompts him to threaten to kill Rickon if Jon will not surrender. It is at this moment Sansa questions whether Ramsay really has their brother. Small John Umber answers by pulling out Shaggy Dog's severed head and throwing it at their feet. When Ramsay starts to speak again, Sansa confidently tells him that he is going to die when they meet on the battlefield the next day, and to sleep well. The battle begins with the Stark army deployed near a tree lean, to prevent themselves from being taken unaware from behind. Across the field is the much larger Bolton army, who have placed archery distance markers with burning, flayed corpses attached to them, in an effort to demoralize the Stark troops. Ramsay himself trots out on his horse to the front of the formation, bringing along a prisoner, Rick and Stark himself. Ramsay acts at first as if he will slit Rickon's throat, but instead cuts his bonds and delightfully insists that he play a game. He points at John and tells Rickon, run to your brother. Rickon starts running in a straight line toward John, while Ramsay shoots and misses with a bow. Just when Rickon is about to reach John, however, Ramsay's final shot hits Rickon in the heart, killing him almost instantly. Enraged and maddened with grief, John charges full tilt at the Bolton army, who immediately loose their arrows on him. Alarmed, Davos orders in the Stark cavalry to charge after their commander, with the infantry closely following behind. His horse shot out from under him, John prepares for his last stand by drawing Longclaw and facing the Bolton cavalry seemingly alone. He is saved by the timely arrival of the Stark cavalry, and the battle becomes a bloody storm of swords. Men fall in battle so quickly that they begin to form small hills of the dead. Ramsay orders his own archers to shoot at both the Stark forces and their own cavalry, while Davos refrains from doing the same, and leads his archers to join Jon Snow and the others into battle. The arrows kill both Stark and Bolton men, and soon the small hills become a wall of the fallen. Although Ramsay loses many of his men to friendly fire, it becomes clear that they are intentionally being sacrificed as part of a sadistic plan to prevent his enemy from retreating. Seeing the Stark infantry and archers along with 1-1 engaging in combat with the Bolton forces, Ramsay sends forward his remaining forces, which Small John Umber leads into battle. The Bolton infantry manage to surround the remaining Stark army and close them in with a shield phalanx. The phalanx acts as a noose, tightening around the beleaguered Stark forces, who by now are dying in droves. As they retreat toward the Wall of Dead, they trample the wounded and squeeze so tightly in the confined space that they are unable to properly move. Small John leads a small force over the Wall of Dead to ensure that none are able to escape. John is barely able to save himself from being crushed to death. Just when all hope seems lost for the Starks and Free Folk, a war horn sounds off in the distance. Around the bend appears a large mounted host of the Knights of the Vale, led by Lord Baelish, Lady Sansa, and Lord Yonroys. The newly arrived Aaron reinforcements quickly turn the tide in favor of the Starks. With the Phalanx facing inward towards the Stark forces, the Vale Knights are able to attack on the Bolton's undefended side, wiping away Ramsay's Phalanx and freeing the Stark soldiers. 
Twilight kills the small John in a brutal duel. Ramsay, now without a fighting force, decides to retreat to Winterfell to hold out in a siege. John, in a murderous fury, gives chase alongside Torment and 1 1. Despite his general's concerns, Ramsay expresses confidence they can withstand the Starks since they hold Winterfell. His plan goes awry, however, when 1 1 breaks down the main gate, allowing the Starks and Aarons to pour through. They kill all remaining Bolton men in the castle. 1 1 collapses to his knees after being hit by arrows, bolts, and javelins. Before John can comfort his friend, Ramsay kills the giant with an arrow through the eye. Ramsay, refusing to surrender, taunts John, saying that he finally accepted his proposal of single combat before shooting arrows at an unarmed John. John grabs a shield from a fallen Mormont soldier and, while boldly advancing, blocks three of Ramsay's shots. When he reaches Ramsay, he smacks the bow out of his hands and knocks him to the ground. With Ramsay down, John pins him and proceeds to beat him savagely. Though it seems as if he will kill Ramsay, John stops when he sees Sansa, realizing that she has as much right to revenge as he does. John orders Ramsay locked in the kennels, and the Flateman banners drop to the ground in a cluttered heap while the Direwolf banner is raised above Winterfell for the first time in three years. The Bolton's rule of the North is over, and House Stark and its allies retake the North with a decisive victory, although not without great cost. The victory, while a decisive one for the Starks, was not without great cost, even if it marked the restoration of House Stark as the Great House of the North and the entry of House Arryn into the War of Five Kings on their side. Out of John's original force of 2,400 men, perhaps only 800 survived, and now no Northern House has a true force to stand against Littlefinger, the Night King, the Iron Throne, or even Daenerys Targaryen, should one of them decide to conquer the North. What is worse, the heir apparent to Winterfell, Rickon, is now dead, leaving the newly restored Great House in the hands of an illegitimate son and an eldest daughter.